Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your commander-in-chief, the Power of Fox Archangel, the English general of the internet, and I welcome you back to They Are Billions. And as they are billions, I think it's about time we defeated billions of them, or at least 5,000 of them. So that is how we're going to start today. We are going to take these 5,000 decrepit people, and we are going to absolutely obliterate them. Because they're decrepit. Who cares about them? So. Attack mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know about that. So. What does this map in particular look like? It looks like it's an, a permanent attack from everywhere. Okay, how do we do this then? Easy! Same way we've always done it! Right, we have our defenses, otherwise known as the attack force. Let us begin. How do we start? Start! Alright, now we just wait! Are you ready, soldiers? There's gonna be a few thousand of them, and you're expected to kill every single one of them. They're attacking from every which way inch of the map, and I should not think that a problem, considering they are slow as all hell. You have a pretty damn good attack range. Unlike them. You have over twice as much attack damage, attack r attack speed, and all that crap. Also, they are very, very slow. So, now it's just a waiting game. So how fares everyone this week? I feel I should ask. Who's gonna get first blood? The, l the bottom? No, it's not the bottom. The top, the right, or the left? I'm leaning towards the left. My bet's on the left. Come on, left. Fire first. Damn it, it was the top. Well, they do gain experience in this, so we're probably going to have a couple of veterans by the end of this, probably. This is going to be a while. How about I, you know, cut to when this is ending? or something interesting happens, which I likely doubt is going to happen. You know, when you look at it, you can see a very easy perimeter around this building, which the zombies just can't get past, which, I f which is reasonably interesting. Basically, it's the range of the guns. Oh, what? What? Did I lose? Oh no, people are just upgrading to veteran status. Well, it's already been like five minutes ish. We're halfway through. I'm going back to sleep. I was about to say, did the game just crash? Better not have. I've been at this for ten minutes. I have been so active in this. I have sat here watching this for at least half of it. 500 left, we're almost done. 400. 300. Come on! 200, yeah! We, there's almost more of us than there are of zombies. I have to give full credit to these soldiers though. Just staying still, shooting at the enemy for seven days straight. I mean, that's quite an impressive sleep not to need the s- A quite impressive feat not to need the sleep. For seven days and to just continuously shoot. Then again, with the sound of guns, could you even go to sleep? It gets to this point where I'm moving to the enemy just to kill them faster. Is everything okay? And we're done! Perfect! Just, just kill me. Well, either way, we got three options available. Lonely Forest, which is a three-star difficulty, which I don't think I want to try. The Cape Storm, and the Lands of the Giant. 
Controlling these cold lands is of vital importance to gain full control of the northern mountains and to block the way for the infected from beyond the mountain range. Our scouts have detected an infected giant. These creatures have grown beyond imagination by some unknown effect of the infection, as if it were a mutation. Your goal is to take the giant that roams the northeast down and get rid of all the infected in the region. You must be extremely cautious with the, the giant. It will be the ruin if you attract it to the colony before having a great army. I see. Cape Storm. This land that extends into the sea holds a great wealth of resources that the Empire wishes to control. Conquer the lands of the Cape Storm and exploit its resources to honor the Empire. The Cape's climate can be very cruel because of the, its winds and permanent storms, but that will not be your biggest concern. We have detected a large swarm of infected approaching the lands of the Cape. Defend the, no the bridge of the north with all your strength because it's the only point of entry and the infected will come in increasing numbers. So, pl choke point or take on a massive thing? Frankly, I want to take on the massive thing. It sounds more fun. But before that, let's get stone houses. You know, just so that I have stone houses. Ooh, I can get a, wa a wasp soon. But first, let's get Tesla coils. Mostly because I want more, more energy range. What the hell is a shocking tower? And do I want it? It does sound pretty cool. Mostly I just want the command for that, the, you know, power supply for now. So we're just gonna go with those. The lands of the giant! Let's see this mighty giant in all its power. We're gonna need a lot and a lot of soldiers, I can tell. I'm sorry, it has its own sound effect! Alright then! The corrupt body of this infected person has swollen to enormous size. Its thick skin makes it almost invulnerable to low caliber caliber weapons. I think that's a little more than just a little bit of that's a little more than swollen. I mean, look at that but thing and then look at the size of our people. That is a full-grown growth spurt at that point. That is a very very big boy. Okay, so there's no swarms, so I'm guessing pretty much our literal only goal is find iron, kill the beast. In addition, it looks like there is very little in the way of food around. Hmm. I wasn't meant to reach a colony size of a thousand, wasn't I? Yeah, how the bloody hell am I meant to reach a thousand? In this climate. Shut up! I just came to look at you because you moved. Well, we found our stone pretty quickly, at least. What? I mean, if I what found stone, I should try and move towards it. So we can get a mine as quickly as possible. Not that I really see any point to it right now. Attention. This is a very interesting scenario in which I pretty much have no idea in what I should try be trying to focus in. My main thought is that I definitely need wood, a uh, iron. I need stone to create more soldiers. Is that iron right there? No, it's just a watering hole. There's a lot of zombies already starting to chase my base. And I don't have stone yet to be able to kill them. Look. First priority. Find stone. Stone has been found. So next priority is create stone. We, do, we can have a few zombies wandering around it as long as we've got the guards nearby dealing with it. Doesn't seem to be anything of real particular concern. Oh, more orders. And it's tell. mostly just regular zombies Great. around. Station. Hello, train arriving at the station. Um, could you, I don't know, supply me with... What's the word? Soldiers? 
Or stone, I should say. Come on, stone. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, that's my stone. Right. Now. Military center. Where to build this blasted thing? You know what? There doesn't actually look that bad a location. Then I'm just going to be spamming out archers. Just huge squadrons of them. At least most of the zombies around here appear to be decrepits. Rather than fresh. How you doing, Tubby? You know, that doesn't actually sound that nice. How was your day, at least? I see, it could have been better. Um, what did you do this weekend? That's pretty boring, honestly, but then again, I guess you are stuck in the mountains. There's not really much for you to do around here, is there? Really? I would have never guessed. Huh. Well, I'm going to leave you now, because I've got things to prepare to be able to kill you. See you later. Hey, madam, you missed one. Jesus, it's a good thing I'm awake, because you're clearly not. A ranger's now a veteran? Oh, well. I guess it's a case of, I wonder who's going to be leading one of the bit, the, the... Attack squadron, then. If someone is a veteran. Ranger veterans are actually pretty damn good. Mostly just because it doubles their attack speed. Like, the damage is relatively the same. It's just the attack speed drastically increases. So the way this probably wants to work is that our focus is the is f killing the monster and then getting a thousand population because the moment chubby here is dead sorry about calling you chubby by the way i know it's offensive to you but you got to admit you did grow up a little big but every time we we need once he's dead we can probably just level up effortlessly you know Oh, there's a random fresh. Oh, there's a few random fresh. Okay, you lot, get down here. Well, that's a squadron, so... So I'm for those with experience to leave to start getting ready to go clear swarms, and those with out experience to go onto guard duty. Even though technically that's probably a very bad way of doing it, because you want those with experience to probably be the ones guarding, but eh, yeah, whatever. Well, this looks like a narrow choke point pass, which has multiple... A narrow choke point pass that once we clear out, we'll all be good. That was a fresh one then. I saw it running. Looking for iron. Yes, we are. Where is the iron? Too, too far. Looking for iron, where could it be? Well, that's an edge of the map, okay. Whatever you say, as long as you pay me. There's no swarms around, so we shouldn't need to worry. Okay. Suppose it's only a matter of working out where the hell the infected are going to attack from on this map. Is that iron or is that stone? It looks like stone. Yeah, that definitely looks like stone to me rather than, you know, iron. So I'm just getting the feeling there is no iron down and around here. So if there's no iron in that direction, what the hell is in this direction then? Oh, that looks like iron right there. Perfect. We're getting a nice lot of veterans, I see. Veteran rangers, which is not what we want to be veterans. We want the soldiers to be veterans, but... Eh. Uh, in the end, a vet any veteran's a good veteran. 
Roger that. Did someone just die? Technology research video. Yes, tell me. Oh my god, they did. Quick. Huh. You again. That's quite a few people, uh, fresh ones, rushing our base right now. That soldier's not in trouble. If it's, if that soldier's struggle, struggling dealing with decrepit, there's more. They have more of a concern to deal with with me than they do with it, than anything else. Point is that there is iron. Something we are in desperate need of, so we need to start building towards it. Yay. In addition, I can start making farms, so I feel I should. We expand outward while at the same time remain remaining relatively small. That way we can take all take advantage of all the resources. So you're telling me a stone workshop is a separate building I have to build? Well aren't you a bastard? I'm gonna need an awful lot of soldiers. Maybe I should try for the thousand before I go fighting the guy, big guy. Like, get a thousand soldiers to beat him up. Once you're built, we can make a quarry for the iron. And then once we have iron, we have soldiers, eventually. And then we have the potential for an army. Dear God, this iron is hopeless. There has got to be a better source of it somewhere. You are gonna pay me. Yeah, at this point, the archers just need to accept defense duty while the while all of the soldier while we start build getting towards soldiers. A new task. Great. I should probably build some walls. Right. What buildings do I need? I need houses. I require houses to be able to uncover more... What am I calling it? Yeah, the zombies seem to be trying to push into us a little right now. I really should or try make... Should try or make progress towards both speaking words and... Reporting for duty. I don't even know what else, what my train of thought was. Each of these houses provides four, four workers. How many workers do I need for this? Twenty. So basically these five houses. Four. Five houses. I want to see the difference between this stone house and a normal house. And basically see how much of a difference it actually makes. I have exactly enough energy and I will have exactly enough workers to make this stone workshop. Which hopefully is the same size as this wooden workshop. You need a lot of empty buildings in order to progress, I'm noticing. Orders, sir. Right, That's I have eight soldiers. Complete. Time to start advancing and leveling them. Perfect, it is the same size. I can just put them next to each other in a nice pattern. Because I want one of these villages to look nice. Yeah, that's the edge of the map. Thought as much. Attention. Building. I basically just need a huge army of soldiers. How hard does this hit thing hit for? 160. It has a huge attack, quite a big attack range, but a relatively slow attack rate. Faster than the standard ranger, at least. It deals 160. These guys have 40% damage reduction. Which means that... That thing would only deal... A soldier can take two hits from one of those guys. Hey, look, more stone. I mean, I guess we're in the mountains, so... Mines are expected. It's very hard to make farms in this snowy region. Whoa! That's a lot of things that came out of nowhere. What 
what's up with that game? It's a good thing I was paying bloody attention. Maybe that's just the game's way of telling me, make some walls, you bloody moron. To which I will reply with, Ugh, fine. So how much damage does this thing? This thing has 30% protection and 7,000 life and apparently regeneration. Tell me. I assume regeneration only applies when they're out of combat. Ideal 16 attack damage per shot. He reduces that by 30%. That means All right. Order, sir. I believe this game uses actual decimal points, so that it basically reduces the damage by 5 each time. Meaning that I deal 11 damage, basically, per shot with a, su with a standard soldier, not including the veterans, which are bonuses. Understood. With that calculation in Let's mind, it means I require Order, sir. to shoot him probably around 600 times. With the attack speed of two attacks a second, that means I need to kill him. I would need about 300 soldiers to kill him effectively. I, without a doubt, am going to need an awfully big army to deal with that thing. By the way, what do I need for stone houses, considering I bought the tech? I might as well Any use orders? it. So if I need to shoot him, pro I probably want about a hundred soldiers to be safe. All the way. Is what I feel. Admittedly, it's probably overkill, but at the same time, I may think it's not enough as well. Point is, it's going to require a lot of workers and a lot of soldiers and a lot of food. So in other words, if it can produce a farm, it probably should be producing a farm. These greenery areas. These eight here are now veterans, meaning their job is done and they're fully upgraded. There's no point having them kill anything anymore. They should leave and let other pe other soldiers level up. I require eight food, nine energy and ten stone to upgrade something into a stone house, do I? That's quite an amount, actually. Yeah, it certainly likes to give me mini swarms. Especially down from down here. It requires twice as much food, significantly more energy, and provides twice as many workers. So if I want to go from an energy point of view, then I should probably be making cottages. Going from a colonist point of view, I probably want to be making stone houses. Good thing this place, we're working from the, uh, from the energy point of view. Attention. That's another iron mine right there. I can start making iron faster. Shame the iron production of iron, the speed of production of iron isn't actually the problem right now. If someone's a veteran, they don't need to remain in the squadron. Because they're at their maximum strength and they're taking experience from everyone else. Who could thus be slowly becoming veterans. Sure, it helps enable the survival of the various different people, but... You know, when the soldiers aren't actually that intimidated by fresh zombies in the first place, so... Most of the time. Great idea, sir. Farms, farms, we need more farms. Farms are a source of life. Farms, farms, so many farms. That is a power grid right there. Come on. 
I would really much prefer uh, just a huge army of army of veterans to take down that bloody giant. But it's not always possible. Perfect. Getting little batteries though is very nice. We are basically on the very edge of the giant's border, though, which is problematic. So we're at the point where we're just kind of praying that the right. that the bastard doesn't find us. Or have any interest in us. This is a relatively small map in the scheme of things. The people up here are almost veterans. Here Most of them are like maybe a kill or two off. Understood. Ready and At least the front lo line ones are, but the ones behind, the ones in the back, aren't that far off either. Great idea, sir. Understood. Oh, more power. Yoink. That will be I need more things to kill. Oh, Provide no. me things to gain experience from! Tell me. Look, there's a movement speed section in this... ...category of stats, isn't there? Speed. 2.4. Speed. 4. Oh, okay, we can't outrun it. The literal options for our... Soldiers in taking down that giant is Understood. tank it. Just tell me what to do. Simply because it has colony. too much health. Of movement speed. Commander humans. And we're going to want as many veterans colony. as possible for killing it. Alright. Why do we want veterans so badly? Because they've increased attack speed and significantly increased attack damage. On your orders. Commander? That's why veteran soldiers are so important. Come on, orders. How many veterans do I have? Twenty-three. You need me? Including the one that's on his way. Understood. This guy has been kind of screwed for experience, it seems. There we go. He's now a veteran. Let's go. Glorious. That's twenty-four. Perfect. Reporting for duty. Still don't have enough soldiers. We're gonna have a bunch of soldiers and a bunch of grunts with those soldiers. We're relatively close to him. That will be easy. Completed. And it's pretty obvious where the pathways into him are. All two of them. Any orders? Our soldiers are in trouble. Are they? Commander? Great idea, sir. Here we come! Reporting for duty. Waiting no, on they're not. So long as it's not Tell the same me. guy taking the brunt Commander, of the attacks for the entire service. of the t of the, the encounter, Perfect. there's never any concern. What's the speed One. of a range of four? Reporting for duty. Same as Chubby here. Commander? Perfect. So Chubby can run just as fast as the scout. On your orders. Reporting for duty. Commander? I suppose the qu one question is, Sorry, what's sir. the core, I was cleaning my core, you know, strength difference between a veteran and a Commander? regular soldier? And the answer is increased attack range, so we keep them at the back, so they're less likely to be attacked. Reporting for, duty. Reporting for duty. Practically double damage and slightly increased attack speed. Order, sir. I yeah. guess one no. important question is, On do I attack trust this game not to just suddenly strike, this, right? attack me from all Attacks. sides Building by over. everything, the moment, you know, everything's dead. Or well, the moment it's dead, I should say. Stone houses take so Attention. much energy. Building completed. So Attention. much energy. Attention. But you know Building what? Completed. Admittedly, they do look pretty damn fancy. 
You know, you really are starting to look industrial, industrial the moment every single house is made out of stone. Currently have 72 soldiers. Don't think it's an- I don't think it's enough. I must say, I do quite enjoy how these- how these places always look. I should try and attack. I really do feel I should try and attack right now. I mean, I've got a hundred and nine soldiers. But it's not enough. We need more. We need so many soldiers that the game's about to crash. That way we can guarantee we're gonna beat the thing. Isn't that right, Chubby? You deserve this thing. This sort of credit. You've got half as much attack range as us, which is irrelevant. You've got not bad attack speed, and you can... Basically, two hits will kill any one of my soldiers. Building completed. And I mean, besides, I haven't actually completed my the amount of colonists I'm allowed yet. So I work on the basis of the moment I have enough colonists to win, that is when I ha I've got enough soldiers. You know, if the game could talk to me, I wonder what it would say. I wonder if it'd be something along the lines of, please stop, you have enough soldiers, please, just let this e let me end. You have already what, you are already going to win. Earlier, didn't I say I'd only need a hundred soldiers? So, do I think 127 is enough? No, of course I don't. How close am I to my thousand? The one last building that I am building. I think. How many does this how many colonists does this give? Eight. So I'll be too short. Too short. Christ's sake. There. You're getting awfully close to that giant, you know, barrier right there. Do you need me? I feel a rain coming. It's the omens from the scut from the heavens above, telling me to prepare for an incoming winter of great torment and. In other words, this giant, giant beastie. Or maybe, it's telling me I should just close my window. But no, that would be much too simple. It can't possibly be that. So in all full, full honesty, I'm going to probably just say these, the ones currently building, are going to be the last ones to be built, apart from these one more in each. So, tell me everyone, how long do you think Chubby is going to last? With a hundred and fifty soldiers. Do you need me? Tw Twenty-four of which are veterans. Commander? I think this is what you call being overly cautious, honestly. Reporting for duty. The rain. It has arrived. It is a sign. A sign that the to that the, s the assault must begin. We are at the verge at the end of our training. And so it is time. We made extra stone houses just for the sake of making extra stone houses. All the soldiers are here and ready and prepared. A hundred and fifty-six soldiers. Well, everyone, there is a hundred and fifty-six of you, and one of him. Some of you will die. That is inevitable. We can't avoid that. Yes, tell me. But, but be quick. 
Understood. Because there is so many of you, we will have certainly minimized how many will die. You're, there's so many of you, you can barely even fit through the goddamn gates. I feel like an army assaulting another right. empire at this point. I will kill our enemies. Now, soldiers, are we ready? Right. Are we prepared? Be scared! You have a right to be scared! And that, good sirs, is why I didn't care. It had AoE attacks! Ten of- Sixteen of you were killed! Understood. And I think one of you instantly became a veteran. Come on. Probably whoever the hell got the killing blow. So, how have I not destroyed all of the infected? Alright, this group. Go up here. On your orders. The thing we need now, need a group at every entrance to the get to the gate. Ready and waiting. To the map. Just so we can At your service. You know. Let's go. Cut off anyone that may have entered into the map. Do you need me? Considering the only thing we're meant to do Come now on. is kill everything. And I don't see anything else to kill. Tell me. But I never expected Attack! the giant to have AoE attacks, oh, I'll admit golly. that. Oh, it's just that little random guy at the top there. Well, everyone! Well done! Well done! Well done indeed! Where do we have now? This random infected swarm, you know what? We'll just do this to finish the get finish off the episode. I mean I've already been recording for two hours, but let's do it anyway. At least the infected attacking us are fresh, so they might they'll get here fast, so we don't have to spend here waiting for 15 minutes like we did at the very beginning of the episode. There is a third a third of the number. So do they expect an fresh infected to be twice three times as powerful as a regular infected? Quite possibly solely due to the speed, but we're gonna find out soon enough, aren't we, soldiers? Now I reckon we're gonna have a casualty or two. Maybe. It's hard to say. Well he's been hit, so. There's the first casualty. There's the second casualty. It's we've, you, we've been at this for a day now. And I think we won. Two casualties, men! I will give each of you two drinks for the two casualties we lost. May they be remembered in good faith. Well done, men. Well done. We're ready for next time. At this frozen lake, whatever the hell it is. Energy needed, plus 30%. Oh, maybe that's why the stone houses required so much energy then. Huh. Well, everyone, what can I say other than thank you all for joining me today? I have been your commander-in-chief, the power of Fox Archangel. The English hero of the internet. But I am afraid I'm all out of time for today's episode. So everyone, I'm afraid that until the next time, it is time for me to bid the all farewell, good day, and finally, good night.